A San Diego Unified board trustee accused by several men of sexual assault was back in front of parents tonight. Kevin Beiser hasn't been seen publicly since a lawsuit was filed against him last month. 10 News reporter Matt Boone is joining us now live outside district headquarters. And tonight, Beiser walked out of the meeting before it was over. Matt? Yeah, despite being absent for about a month, Beiser's presence today went largely unnoted. That is until he drew attention to himself by leaving the meeting early. He came out. This is the back door to the facility, ran outside, was escorted by cops, got into his car and drove away without saying a word to anybody. Well, and then we'll exit out that door to take individual pictures. Thank you. School board member Kevin Beiser didn't shy away from the public spotlight, at least not at the beginning of the meeting participating in a photo shoot with district award winners and shaking hands. Afterwards, he made his only statement of the night unrelated to his current situation. I did want to say congratulations to all the schools, but I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that all three categories were won by subdistrict B schools. So congratulations, Marvin Taft and Patrick Henry. But his presence at the meeting seemed to surprise fellow board member John Lee Evans, who reminded the audience that the board had passed a resolution earlier this month calling for Beiser's resignation. And that resolution still stands. I just don't want anybody to be confused about that. We have had no communication with Mr. Beiser since that time, and Mr. Beiser has arrived on his own at this meeting. Beiser was sued back in March by an unnamed man. According to the lawsuit, the alleged victim had worked for Beiser's campaign. He claims Beiser, quote, created a sexually offensive and hostile work environment, and he made unwanted sexual advances on and off until he was fired in April of 2018. For the rest of Tuesday's meeting, Beiser sat silently, aside from occasionally seconding motions, second, and appeared to diligently take notes on comments. But with several items left on the agenda, he got up and abruptly exited before the meeting was over, escorted by police without saying anything. Now, in prior statements, Beiser did deny all of those allegations. And while the board did vote for him to resign, they actually don't have the power to oust him unless he goes voluntarily. Reporting live tonight in University Heights, Matt Boone, 10 News.